This for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. I've been blind. They have more fun. Uh-huh. Red will look good. I feel like red will be a little too much. <laughs> red will look good, but I feel like red will be a little bit too much for me. So I just go in between the blonde and the black. I don't really do, or I might do like a honey brown or something. Like I don't really do any other color. Like I don't do colors. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be like a hair color, like a blonde or like a, mm, like a honey brown or a honey blonde or like a black. Hey, my baby, how you doing? What's going on y'all? And hey, baby, I miss you more. What's going on, baby? Baby, I need you. What's going on? I need you. I need you. The people that left me hanging, you got me. What's going on, my baby? All right, y'all. This is for Leo. So, somebody could be 75, and somebody could be 61, and somebody could be 21. I go jet black when I'm feeling some type of way. Oh, okay. See, jet black is normal, Derek. When I'm normal, Derek, I'm jet black. So, that means everything normal. <laughs> Somebody could be 75. So some of my Leos are experiencing a little bit of nightmare energy. And some of y'all been daydreaming about these nightmares that you've been having because they've been keeping up with you. But you have somebody new that is actually wanting to come in. Somebody could be 21. And this could be what a lot of my Leos are scared of right now. Can everybody take this screen, y'all? If somebody could be 28, it looks like somebody's wanting to make a promise to you. And somebody could be 27. But it looks like you had a learning experience. Somebody made a commitment to you or a promise. They didn't fall through with it. So it looks like you learned your lesson. You learned that you can't trust everybody. You learned that you can't depend on everybody. You learned that you can't take everybody. Where I stay blind. Yeah, I go blind here and there. I got to be feeling, I got to really be wanting to feel something to go blind. I don't know. It's something about that blind, y'all. Somebody could be 67. We got overload. So a lot of my Leos are feeling overworked right now. A lot of my Leos are feeling like all the pressure is on them and they have nothing to really run to right now. And somebody can have an 18-year-old or somebody can be 77. A lot of my Leos are stubborn. A lot of my Leos don't want to take in when nobody got to tell them. Now, I always tell Leos this. I always tell them y'all are one of the most hard-headed signs because y'all literally have to follow your behind just to see not to do something anymore. And we got strategy. Somebody can be 48. So this is the universe telling you to play chess right now, not checkers. It's time to make the correct decision. It's time to make the correct move. And it's time to pay attention to what's going on around you. And somebody got a two-year-old, we got hesitation. So for a lot of my Leos, a lot of y'all are very hesitant on what to do or where to go or what direction you should go right now. And somebody can be 72. We got friendships. So for a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are hesitant about making a new friend. This is where a lot of my Leos are at right now, right now. You know, take what energy resonates, of course, and leave what does it for somebody else. My name is Deep Reader, and if everybody can put the comments that Zodiac sign, hit that share button and tap that screen. We should be at like 100 shares by now, y'all. And we should be at at least 50K likes by now. So if everybody could participate that is doing right now, that would be amazing. So we got Divine Timing. So divine timing is at work for you right now, Leo. And it looks like you have some type of masculine energy protecting you right now. We got an angelic protection. So this could be your father, your husband, your brother, your son. I don't know exactly who he is to you, but he's telling you to be easier on yourself, Leo. Some of my Leos are so hard on themselves. It's like Leo is their biggest critic. Nobody has to criticize you because you do all the criticizing for yourself. And we got honest communication and expect miracles. So for a lot of my Leos, be honest when it comes to committing or having a conversation with somebody. There's a big miracle in right of you, like a huge miracle. Trust the process. And we also have courage and bravery and manifestations. So what you are manifesting is coming to light, but you have to have the courage to go after what you are wanting as well. It's not just going to fall in your lap, Leo. Can everybody tap this screen, y'all? Thank y'all so much. And we also got listen deeply. So for a lot of my Leos, believe it or not, there's a feminine energy that's been trying to communicate with you that passed away. This could be a mother. This could be a grandmother, your sister, your daughter, your auntie, a friend, whoever she is to you. For a lot of you, this could be a friend who passed away. She still keeps up with you. She still watches you. She still protects you. 
from a lot of things. And she's wanting you to cut off something that you know isn't any good for you, Leo. And a lot of you just needed that confirmation. I guess you just needed to hear it. Well, now I'm telling you, cut that off, Leo. We got compromise and we got romance connection. So for a lot of my Leos, bring in that compromise energy to allow that romance connection in for you. And this stability will be in route of you. Today, Leo's match is going to be Virgo. At the bottom of the deck, a lot of my Leos keep asking me if they should deal with a past energy. This is general, of course, but the answer to that is no, Leo. Right now is the time to focus on yourself. I appreciate every single Leo. Thank you.